Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifal engineer at side youtube channel So my dear friends today we will learn how to study how to read the structural sharp drawing for a slab So to get the full knowledge about how to study or how to read the structural sharp drawing for the slab you have to watch this video from the start till the end without skipping any part now after the watching if you have any question or confusion so you can ask me in the comment section or my through through my social networks for my social networks links available in the description of the video and also in the about section of the channel and for your information i already uploaded videos on column beam and footing so you can also watch that videos for the structural sharp drawing of column beam and footing so guys before starting the video if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friend here you will get videos about civil engineering quality engineering saudi arabia jobs visa information and many more about the civil engineer life in saudi arabia so let's start our video guys when you have a drawing in your hand and you want to study it you want to read it so the there is a proper way to start reading the structural drawing or studying first you have to come the general notes in general notes you will get the general information about the drawings or structural element like here you can see all the dimension in millimeter unless otherwise indicated drawing must be read in conjunction with the architectural and other engineering drawings compressive strength for the concrete is 35 mpa steel yield stress will be 420 MPa and steel will be grade 60. Bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kN per meter. Here are the legends. And the natural ground level BOF bottom up putting TOR top up RCOL TORB top up roof beam. Here lap table or lapping table. When you are going to use the wall lapping up to steel, so you have to study this area. Or if you you don't have this table in your drawing. So there is a general formula by which you can calculate the lapping length of the steel bar. Like for diameter of 8 mm diameter steel, you lapping length will be 400 mm per 10 mm diameter of the steel, 500 mm per 12, 600 mm per 16, 800 mm. How you will calculate? There is a general formula: 50 multiplied by d. 50. multiplied by d d is the diameter if you are going to multiply uh, find the lapping length for the 8 mm dia steel bar so 50 multiplied by it. how what is the number 400 mm here you can see for it it's coming 400 mm so you have to use the formula 50 multiplied by d here is the standard hook details here is the detail for the drawing the drawing number and that for which area you will use this drawing so after this when you study the general notes and these details so in the slab first we have to come to the schedule of roof slab here we will use two types of slab slab number 1 slab number 2 description only one difference the slab number 1 thickness is 15 cm or 150 mm and slab number 2 thickness is 300 mm and all the slab the same diameter of the bar will be used 12 diameter 12 diameter 12 diameter and the distribution bar and also in the main bar the distance between two steel bars like center to center distance will be 150 mm or 15 cm main bar are the shorter bar used in the slab which may be used in the tension zones to resist the tension and distributor distribution bar are the lengthy bar which used in the slab so now i will take you to the layout guys here you can see this is the layout here you can see some details and all this area slab 1 slab 1 slab 1 these beam beam column beam column beam but here we have to only study the detail for the structural slab first of all we have to study the main bars main bars you here you can see break lines and continue lines 
so what is the meaning of this here you will find this here you can see for the top bars they use this line for the bottom line they use this continuous line so let's go back to the layout so it means guys here you can see 70 this for the top bars these are the top bar okay and bottom bars here you can see this is the bottom bars for this area for the main main bars in the slab because main bar will be shorter in length so this line for the main uh, the top bar and this for the bottom bar and the number of bar from this area from grade b to grade e we will use 75 number of bar 75 bar will be used from this area till this area distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter diameter of the bar which will use for the top and bottom bars of main bar will be 12 mm length of the main bar is 3.8 meter or 3800 mm is equal to 3.8 meter so these details are for the main bars from this area till this area now let's come to the distribution bar here you can see this is the bottom bar for the distribution bar and this is the top bar for the distribution bar here you can see the, it's come here and this details for this bar so from this area till this area 24 number of bar will be used distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter and diameter of the bar will be 12 mm and this detail for the bottom bar here you can see the bottom bar will be continue bar and here you can see the detail for the top bar 24 number of bar like same here diameter of the bar will be 12 mm top bar and length of the bar will be 11.5 meter here the length is 3.8 meter why because these are the main bar and these are the distribution bar because of that its length is more than main bars 11.5 meter so there is no confusion you just from this area to this area you have to spray uh, make the install the steel 75 number of steel you have to take and start installation and the distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter for a main bar distribution bar from this area till this area the number of bar will be used 24 and the distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter so i hope you will get some information from this area now here are the detail for different areas but all the bar diameter is 12 mm center to center is distance 15 centimeter 150 mm here these are the concealed beam here you can see top bars from this area till this area 14 bar will be used length of the bar will be 0.5 one five meter bottom bar well this is the top bar this one bottom bar length 5.15 meter and 14 number of bar will be used here for the this is the distribution for the, uh, the this is the detail for the distribution bar and these detail are for the main bar here you can see these are the distribution bar now main bars these are the main bars the details given is this is the top bar 42 number of bar will be used length will be 2.2 meter distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter this is the these are the bottom bar number of bar will be used here 42 diameter will be 12 and length of one bar will be 2.2 meter and distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter so guys now i will take you to the cross section now here you can see section a section a so for the cross section of the slab is very simple there is no more detail so here in the section a they give detail about the thickness of the steel this is slab number one because of its thickness is 15 centimeter and here you can see 
12 diameter bar will be used in the center to center distance between two bar if there if, the, if it's our distribution bar or main bar the distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter here you can see the same 150 thickness of the slab and the same detail 150 thickness of the slab and the same detail 12 diameter of the bar and distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter the same detail here you can see but this here you can see the thickness of the slab is 30 centimeter this is slab number two only the difference between slab one and two is thickness but the remain the detail for the bar, uh, steel bar will be same like 12 dia mm steel bar will be used and the distance between two bar will be 15 centimeter so guys i hope you will get some knowledge about how to read and study the structural sharp drawing for a slab after watching this video if you have any confusion or any question regarding these drawings ask studying the structures drawing so you can ask me in the comment section and also you can contact me through my social networks social networks links are available in the about section and also in the video description if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it your your friend thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much guys